All right, we're gonna do a home mobilization of the lumbar spine using our favorite lacrosse ball. So uh, the idea with this is we're gonna desensitize the muscles uh, in and around the spine and along the pelvis. So we're gonna let anatomy be our guide. We're just you know, taking a look at you know, the vertebra stack down this way, pelvis starts to come out that way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come off center between those intersections and we're gonna anchor the ball right here uh, in that deposit of muscle and connective tissue. So you're gonna lay down on the floor. You're gonna put your legs up on either a box or a dining room chair or couch. Um, again, you're gonna grab your ball. You're gonna use anatomy as your guide. You're gonna find that sweet spot and this is where you're gonna start by anchoring your ball. So at this point, if I'm super inflamed or if it's brand new pain, you know, maybe the only thing I, that I'm gonna be able to tolerate right now is breathing to get it to calm down. But first thing I'll do is I'll take a breath just to make sure it's not overly sensitive that I can do more. So I'll take a deep breath in and out. And if I can catch, you know, if I can do that without catching my breath, then I'm in a good spot. So if I'm working this right side, I'm going to use this left leg and I'm going to anchor down into the, the box or chair or table. So the idea is, you know, if I'm working the right side, my left leg is going to help support my body during some of these movements. So first things first, I'll start to shake and shimmy on that contact. And I'll do this for roughly 30 seconds. I'm looking... I'm scrubbing the muscle and tissue and the connective tissue right along uh, and above that belt line where that pelvis would come out. I might even shake and shimmy a little bit top to bottom. Again, I'm not directly on the spine. I'm off center into you know, that connective tissue, into the muscle, the erectors that are there. Now, once I kind of loosen everything up and I prep it, um, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna push my left heel into the table or chair. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my right leg and I'm gonna start to introduce some motion. So the idea is, you know, the, the body weight is on the ball. I'm getting some motion pull from the muscles whenever I use my hips, but I'm not just going top to bottom. I'm gonna start to explore some angles with my hips so I'm cutting across, I'm coming directly to my chest wall. I'm gonna to start to get some external rotation and swing my leg out. So the idea is I'm gonna be able to challenge those tissues in a lot of different areas. Now, if I find something interesting that's worth my time, I'm gonna spend maybe a minute here cleaning it up and then move on to the next zone, the next area. Now, one of the things that I think about doing is you know i might get a nice contraction on the ball so if the ball is in the tissue i'm gonna basically think about contracting around that ball and then relax and so then i'll do another contraction for like five seconds and then relax and then i'll do another contraction for five seconds and relax and so the idea is every time i contract and relax i'm getting deeper and deeper into the contact of that ball, okay? So, you know, once I've cleaned this zone up, you know, for, you know, anywhere from, you know, two to three minutes, I'm gonna anchor myself off. I'm gonna push the ball out further out towards uh, the outside support. Now, at this point, this might be my secondary pass. What I'm also gonna have to account for is the angle is changing just a little bit. So I'm gonna have to pivot my hips just a little bit towards you know, the ball. That way I can get the pressure that I need on those tissues. So same thing as before, I'll go through my checklist. Can I take a deep breath? Can I you know, start to go ahead and clean it up a little bit? And so I'm gonna shake and shimmy you know, side to side for like 30 seconds. I might even go up and down for 30 seconds, just kind of loosening that connective tissue. It feels, you know, actually pretty good. Um, 
if you want to do it longer than 30 seconds, that's fine too. But then I'm going to get more aggressive with the range motion. So my left heel is pushing down into the table or chair and my right leg is starting to introduce active range of motion. Okay. So again, it's not just, you know, top uh, to bottom or knee to chest. I'm going to start exploring other ranges of motion with my hip to try and find, you know, if anything is more aggressive, more tender than the others. And if it is, then, you know, I might spend like a minute cleaning it up before I move on to another angle to challenge those tissues. So, you know, big takeaway is, you know, if my right side was the problem side, you know, I would definitely do this to clean up the problem side, but subsequently I'd go ahead and, you know, go ahead and put in some, you know, love and care onto the left side as well. Cause just cause the right side is, you know, the one actually getting your attention doesn't mean that there's not something on the left side that you might pick up uh, that's worth your time too. So roughly you're looking four or five minutes aside.